we got a call for a missing dog. So excited. Let's go find him. Hey guys, Chris here. We got a call for a missing dog. Dave and I are gonna head on out. And Austin's gonna be joining us in a little while. And uh, we're gonna see if we can find this dog. I'm feeling pretty confident, I'm hopeful uh, actually. I don't know about confident. Yeah, I'm fairly confident. <laughs> the dog went missing around 4 p.m. last night. It's about a little after seven, like what, 7, 7.38 or so? 7.30, yeah, 30. So, we're looking forward to this. Hopefully it'll be good and we have a success. So yeah, let's go find him. Yeah. So the lady I talked with, her name is Erin. She's Said she's up at the field up ahead. Okay. I want to see how high I actually am here. It's higher elevation up that way, so I just want to make sure I'm not going to run into something. So I'm just going to do a quick look around this area, immediate area. So I wonder if this is that. Maybe. Looks like something in a tree, a bird. Is it a bird? A falcon. Huh, that's cool. Yeah, I mean, you could still easily pick out stuff. It's just annoying because it's not. Well, I, those deer showed up real easy and they were pretty far away. Yeah. Like these deer right here. So what happens here is, this is what the thermal looks like. You can see there's a horse and there's a horse. And that little bracket there shows me what my zoom camera will look at. So if I hit the zoom, there, there's the horse. So oh, okay. that can, that's what we can look to see what we're actually looking at. We can see the, the, uh, the thermal hot spots and then we check them out. But then we got... Yeah, I'll, I'll finish out this on this side I'm gonna try to fill in that, fill in that yeah. and maybe see where I get with the yeah. I've kind of not been going in a I'm kind of trying to follow around the close areas Oh, there he is. There she is. Oh my God. Dave, we found her. Found her. Found her. Oh, sweet. There she is. So how did you get her? Well, let me pin that location. Oh, sweet. We just yes. found her. We found her on the ground. She's laying out in the field. There <laughs> she is. <laughs> yes. But All right. Out in the field. Yeah. We found in the rain. her. She's hunkered down yeah. some. She's okay. hunkered down. So. Um, Woo! All right. Hey, we just located her. Good job, Chris. On the stage, what does she look like a thermal? Here we go. So there, um, this is what we got. The H represents where we are, and the diamond almost straight ahead is where we found the dog. Right here.
This looks kind of wet. Maybe we'll get you dry and warm. How about that? So guys, we got out here, found Ethel here, we got her some food and water. Looks like she's cold. We got our blanket wrapped up in here. We've recently got ourselves a little first aid kit. We got some supplies, some food, blankets, thermal blankets, leash just a variety of things that we can help. Obviously, our job is to help find the pet. It's not necessarily guaranteed that we'll be always be able to go out and help recover. The actual animal just depends on the situation, but in this case, we're very thankful to be able to hear, be here to help. We're gonna get Nethel back home where it's warm. She looks like she's wet and tired and a little bit cold, so we wanna get her back as soon as we can, so follow along. What do you say, Austin? Hey, this is why we do what we do. I am so excited. Ethel is back home safe. Looks like she's gonna be fine. And uh, pretty awesome. Get the drone up there, 20 minutes being able to find her. So I'm pretty excited. 